G'day guys, how's it going? Brandon here from Brando's Backyard and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be running you through my 2023 lawn care setup for my local lawn mowing business. Um, let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so for me, in my business I like to keep things as simple as possible, um, keep things nice and efficient. I want things to be in a place that is easy for me to grab. Uh, easily accessible and doesn't take a lot of time to mess about getting things on and off the trailer on and off the ute so we run a sim or I run a simple very simple setup um, running out of my ute I have a Mitsubishi Triton it's a single cab this has been an awesome ute I picked this up for just under uh, in between seven and eight thousand um, this has been an awesome ute. Back here we keep all my sort of handheld kind of tools. So we've got the, the, the Honda UMK 425 straight shaft whippersnipper. I like running it with the guard off personally. Uh, I know there's a lot of debate about that where people would rather have it on, but I like having it off. It's something about it I find nice. I just have a little uh, Ryobi blower that I got from Bunnings. Uh, just a little battery powered blower and for the work that I kind of do I find this to be absolutely perfect It's just good enough, you know to blow down paths, you know, just your general general everything We've got our big jerry can here. Unfortunately, I don't have any sort of side Jerry can holders which I have been meaning to get but I just haven't done any really any modifications on this trailer uh, we just have a box of random things, so I've got, you know, some my side discharge for my mower, just some other random knickknacks. I've got a piece here that I was going to install that I just never got around to. Uh, let me take you around the other side. Over here, we have my ramps. So I don't have a ramp back on the on the trailer yet. So if I ever do any ride on work, I do need to hook up the ramps to the back. They're not completely ideal, you know, sometimes the they slip out, and the mower slips, but what can you do? It's fine. Uh, I've got a pump in here for some reason, just got some, some spray. And here we have the Echo, oh, I don't even know the model. Let's, the HC1501, I'm assuming that's the model. I picked this one up, it was, it was discount at um, Bunnings. But this thing hasn't skipped a beat, honestly, you know. You just take good care of it. Uh, which I haven't really been lately, but this works an absolute treat. I do have another Ryobi pole arm hedge saw, which has a chainsaw attachment on the end uh, that I usually also have in here, but that's that's stored away at the moment just because I haven't needed it for work. So this thing, for what I've been needing it for lately, has been absolutely perfect. Uh, I really rate it. On to the trailer. So... For the trailer here, we have a 5x7 tipper box trailer with a cage around it. Um, the cage is, I believe it's 600 mil high from bottom to top. Um, we've got the mower box on the front, which is awesome. This is genuinely one of the biggest time savers that I've ever found in anything with this kind of work. Uh, quite simply, what you do is you just unpin these. And this sits down, which I'll demonstrate maybe up here. For the mower that we're running, it is getting quite old. I've had this one for going on three years now, but it's the Tori Toro, sorry, 22 inch personal pace recycle mower, uh, which also has a side discharge chute, which you know, it kind of works very well for everything. It, it mulches well, it side shoots, it, it catches super well. Uh, so that's the mower of choice at the moment. Unfortunately as well, the self-propel system, the cable keeps slipping, uh, the belt, sorry, keeps slipping off the back axle so the wheel stops spinning. So it's been a bit of a struggle lately, uh, trying to get that one fixed and, you know, all done up. But that's fine, it's still an awesome mower. still love to run that. Um, Sorry, that's my phone. In the back, I, I sort of left some stuff in here just as a gauge for kind of, you know, how I keep everything. But we just got big, you know, big garden bag, all green waste. Also, there's the catcher. So I, I like to just keep the catcher in the back because this isn't an enclosed box. And I have lost a catcher before. 
come around it's got an easy easy unlocking system where you just unclip this this comes up and then this swings out but as you can see that doesn't swing out because the net is holding onto it I do like to have the net on top just for when I'm hauling green waste away you don't have to worry about leaves or fronds or anything flying up and out so you feel pretty secure having that there look Grimmy wants to be in the video what are you doing bud uh, we have a spare tire on the side I've just hooked up a pipe a bit of PVC pipe with some zip ties and here I like to keep you know my brooms my rakes I've got some clippers here got a rake uh, not a rake we've got a ladder here set up for any hedging or any other needs um, on my older trailer so this is actually my second one I did have a first one of these and it did get stolen so that other one had a 900 mil cage on top so the cage came up taller the tire was on the other side and I actually had a whippersnipper rack on this side so I had basically all of my equipment consolidated onto the trailer I'll leave a little clip in the in the corner of what that was like because that was also an, an awesome feature to have but you know it's it's not even the worst thing in the world having the whippersnipper in, in the back of the U because you can just sort of come in and you're good to go you know no worries at all um, just trying to think if that's it uh, another thing I do like to use um, I do like to use uh, this let's see if it focuses it's a cross-cut uh, industrial strength whippersnipper line I like I, I, you know you can't keep getting the small ones so you get the big ones they just last so much longer um, 2.7 mil diameter so it's it's a good good thickness it doesn't it doesn't break all the time it's good for cutting down thick stuff as well so I won't show you the inside of the car solely because it's a little bit of a mess it's just got you know shirts not shirts but jumpers um, you know it's just where I keep my water keep all that kind of stuff so basically that is my setup uh, I'll keep this video nice and simple because I don't want to bore you guys I don't want to you know do it longer than it needs to be um, I do also have an alternative setup in which I just run straight out of the ute. So I may post another YouTube short or another YouTube video just demonstrating that just for when I have a lighter, lighter route that day. But this is the general everyday setup. Uh, it does change a little bit here and there, but it's nice and simple. Keep it nice and simple. You know, everything's easy. Life is good. And yes. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you would like to, make sure to tell me about your setups or if you have any questions or suggestions about mine, I would love for you to post in the comments below. So please do that. Make sure to subscribe and share with your friends. Even leaving a like on the video absolutely is a massive help for me. So if you could do that, if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it a lot. And yeah, have a wonderful afternoon guys. Cheers.